I've seen on TV Ducks Tested Yesterday I went to Bud Bath and Beyond Which is sort of the I've seen on TV mecca The capital of I've seen on TV yeah. Gorgeous. I spent $50 and I got five As Seen on TV products. Okay, some steals. I feel like people don't talk about As Seen on TV products as much as they used to. Yeah, I'm not trying to brag, but that was sort of my heyday on YouTube. Me and Simply Nessa. That was kind of our thing, you know? Oh, how is it? It's actually not that bad. This was a fun time. Everyone loved it, got a lot of views. When I was a waitress wearing a white dress You were my man, it felt like I got this And now I'm trying to recreate that I'm going into this with the attitude Most of these products are gonna be bad? They're gonna suck Maybe they'll be useful yeah. You don't know so It's like useful but you don't need it Yeah who knows, I shouldn't be so hateful Your heart is full of hate No it's full of love But I <laughs> thought I should be hateful because People always hate on me. <laughs> no, 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 no one, no one <laughs> Making it all about myself. Start a therapy session. <laughs> the first odd scene on TV product I got was the Nutri Chapel. Isn't this one of the most popular ones? I don't know if it's this specific model, but I've seen so many as seen on TV commercials about things that chop things. Ah, just squeeze and chop. I mean, to be honest, I know you said a lot of these are dumb. This is a bomb ass idea. Onions suck. No one wants to cut them. If you really can just squeeze and chop it, that's amazing. If this does work, I'm giving it to our mom and she's gonna be happy. Oh yeah. Because she cooks and she's a girl. Oh yeah, only girls cook. Neither of us cook since we're men. No, I'm joking. I just, I, we aren't problematic. Oh, I actually believe that. Just squeeze and chop. Isn't that what they do when they do soul incisions? Just squeeze it and chop up oh, the foreskin. That probably is like how they teach it in college. Yeah. Squeeze, chop. But that makes me so uncomfortable thinking about it. Uh-oh, there you go. Slow slicing fruits, veggies, and those stingy onions that bring you to tears. But not anymore. Introducing NutriChopper, the compact handheld speed slicer that cuts up oh, to yes. 10 times quicker than Squeeze, oh, that's satisfying. I know, that you really is. Sli Bundle slice, oh, that's, it, that's my kink. Speed. Not kink, but like, I find it satisfying. When you can wedge it all in oh, one they make it so, like, they make it such a smooth thing. Yeah, so I bought this, but I would have bought five of them if they showed me this commercial before I buy it. I know, one for everyone you know. Nutri-Chopper comes with the razor sharp interchangeable stainless steel I just steel don't believe it's gonna be as smooth as they're showing. The cuts you want and Same, I have um, trust quick. issues. And wedge whole fruits and vegetables in just oh. one second. Chop dicks because it's like the circumcision right doctor talking. <laughs> <laughs> Why is so much of this video about circumcision? Cube meats and cheese is quick. You can do meats. So you can oh, what? Slice it, seal it, and Did you just come with that thing? Yeah, it comes with this little bottom thing. I, I guess it's a container too. Did you bring an onion to test this? I brought an onion, apple, and an orange. I, oh my god! If you don't have to peel an orange, that will change my whole life. You're not giving this to mom. I'm taking it. That's going upstairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, I got, I got the nutri Chapel. Sorry, I'm trying to calm down. Okay, put it down. You okay? Yep. I want to see it slide. Fruits and vegetables in just oh. one second. So first, let's try an onion. You don't need directions, right? Yeah, we do. Now nah, we do. Oh my god, it came with a little thing to make it a little, like, container. I didn't even know that. That's very cute. I feel like you're breaking it. Oh, you might actually have to read the instructions. Maybe we're too dumb to do it. No. Unlock the unit, attach the blade to your choice. But how do you unlock it? Is it like something like this? Maybe it's lift both these up. Oh, okay. I think it's just this. Unlock up. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's a lot easier. Okay, so this is blade in there that does it in slices. <gasps> oh my god! We figured out the cube way, guys. Oh, it just takes a bit of practice. Yeah. So first you have to cut the edges off of the onion. Oh, so you still have to do a little bit of cutting. 
Yeah, that's a thing. So we're gonna have to dice this onion in half. It's too big. What? And the commercials never said anything about that. I think because it wouldn't even fit. God damn it, Nutra Chopper. Okay. It's still too big. Wait. I have to cut it in full. What? Are they using little baby onions? They show right here an onion. Wait, Is it what? a munchkin onion? How am I supposed to do this? Okay. I'm getting mad. Okay, I'm trying it. <laughs> I don't want to get it everywhere. Oh, I need it. I feel like I'm doing something different. They made it look so much easier on the gosh damn commercial. Oh! I mean, it that was actually but pretty cool. it wasn't cool. as fluid as the commercial he would, you saw he was throwing them back. I cut this part. I, I cut this part of the onion to the perfect size. So now we can just actually see it go down. Okay, this is, they didn't show this in a commercial. Oh. Oh, and you wasted all the onions. And this is gonna be really cool. So just watch. Okay, we do. It takes a little bit of strength. This isn't how it showed on the commercial. Juice is going on me. The commercial really gave me high expectations. The onions are in little lines. Or oh, like blacks, which I don't know if you'd want onion like that. With the onion, maybe if you use like a different knife technique like this one, it would work, but I just don't know if you want onion in cubes. Next, we have an apple. So I don't even know if it's mutt. Oh yeah, it does apple slices. They How do you claim do it this? does. Probably this one, right? Yeah, that one would do apple slices. I feel like it's not gonna work. Yeah, it seems too hard. They didn't tell you to be a bodybuilder, John Cena to effing do it. It's like painful to watch. And it feels like I'm doing something um, that would hurt me. Oh, it like hurts. Juice is going on me. I'm stressed. Oh! Okay guys, it, it might have. Okay. It did. Okay. Aren't they oniony? I do think just using one of those apple cutters would probably be better. <laughs> oh yeah. Here's the thing about cutting an apple with this. There's a chance that you're gonna eat the coal, which kind of um, sucks. Not cute. Lastly, we have an orange. Which doesn't fit. It does not fit in the thing. But should I just push it anyway? It's gonna school anyway, I feel like. Oh, you're right. I mean, but they said <laughs> we could do it. Let's just cut it in half. That's not gonna do anything, it's still gonna be too wide. I like thick food. And I don't know if this is gonna support thick food. <laughs> it's gonna go everywhere. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I mean, I still do stand by the Nutra Choppers. Just if you're watching, please make them bigger. This is too small. It's it's not good enough. I honestly wouldn't suggest someone to buy it. I think if you spent an extra ten dollars, you might get a better one though. Yeah, for sure, a bigger one. Well, helping the nation, helping the world with this. Video. Oh yeah, because a lot of people who wanted to get a Nutra Chopper watch this video. Yeah. The next ad seen on TV product I got was <laughs> a shoes under. Say space saving shoe organizer. From what I know, you put shoes in this little contraption box and you save room because you can put it under your butt. I wasn't thinking about getting this. But there was like two different kind of these at Bud Bath and Beyond, really? so I felt like I had to. I guess this probably is popular, but I I think it's so dumb, but. I guess I would get it in like a dorm room. You know? I guess for my life, I don't see it used Yeah. But let's watch the that. commercial. Maybe it will explain I to feel us. like it'll convince us. The commercials always convince us. Because we're easily brainwashed. <laughs> Love to shop for shoes, but there's no place to store them. You try stacking them. Why is it talking them, about me? It's so them in weird. Their boxes, but you're always running out of room to store more. Introducing Shoes Under, the easy solution to organize and protect your shoes. Do they always hire the same guy? It always sounds like an yeah. enthusiastic 40-year-old. That's bald, like me. Oh yeah, you he, you know he's bald. I do have to say this product idea is so much better than what they showed. Where people hang them on the door. I hate that. Oh yeah, people do that. I know this is better. Hide them under the bed. We don't want to see them all dangling on your little door and all the smells coming up. I like this product because it prevents people from hiding dead bodies under their bed. Oh yeah, and that's a problem. Yeah. Now you just slide and this store. This would be perfect it's for your life. Do your oh, kids yes. go on search <laughs> oh, missions the just to find their shoes? With oh. Shoes Under, you can organize their shoes and their socks. Are your scarves and belts a jumbled mess? Okay. <laughs> I think this brand is underestimating themselves. They shouldn't say shoes under anything under your butt. You could put, 
I don't know. Um, Pants. grow, go, put some ladybugs, a ladybug farm under your bed, <laughs> or like pantry under your bed. Yeah, There's a bunch of salsa and stuff. I know. We I wake up at three o'clock starving. I know. I think it's a good idea now. I know. I'm only halfway through the commercial. How is this commercial so long? <laughs> I know. I'm going to trance while watching. It's like, we get it. You save room. What else does show us? Now it's easy to oh, look, look your best. Great. With two handles, you can easily store your shoes this here, to be made under in there, like the almost 90s. everywhere. Yeah, so old. And turn and shoes are expensive, so you try to keep them in their boxes. Then you have to go searching for the right pair. <laughs> I so never not do anymore. that. Do you guys do that? Because I don't. I love the manic energy she <laughs> had while doing it. And when they said shoes are expensive, so many dollar signs, like, they know know what they're doing. Like, it's giving me anxiety, I honestly. know. Like, I was stressed for that girl trying to find the right pair. I was stressed for myself. I think I only have four pairs of shoes, but I was like, wait, they're just laying on my ground and they're so expensive. <laughs> you can get the 12 compartment shoes under for only $19.99. This was dollars Call now and we'll cut that price oh, in Dan, half. That's wait. right. You'll get the original shoes under for only... You got screwed over. Inflation for you guys. This is probably years ago. Wow. The economy. But call right now and we'll double the offer and give you a second shoes under that's enough space for 48 shoes as a bonus. Just pay separate shipping and handling. Like, I get the whole throwing in an extra pair, but to me it makes me think like, wait, you have that much laying around? Like, <laughs> I saw, then I start losing faith in the company. Okay, we get it. How rich do you think the creator of Shoe Under is? I feel like they made $20 million. Almost, they're living lavish. I just pulled that out of my ass, but. <laughs> first you get the money, then you get the hose. No, first no. you get the money. Then you get the power. Hose, hose come, come last. last. Do you so, think he's gone hose yet? It's been like 10 years, yeah. so he has like he's gotten gotten the lined hose. up. Hose, hose, hose. Females, males, dogs, just joking. No bestiality. We don't know him. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if he is doing bestiality, we... Should be worried, but I'm not gonna say he is because I don't know. Yeah, it could be a she too. I don't we know. aren't sure. Okay, let's go test it out. <laughs> <sighs> now we we are going to test this. Put everything in here, and then we're gonna put it under Lucas's bed. I like how this one seems so simple. I feel like I don't need to be stressed that it won't work. I know. Work. You know it'll work. This literally requires no um. Setup. So first of all, I'm gonna put my Nike shoes in it. Oh, the thing about it is I only fit one pair of my shoes. Wait, what? It's not supposed, it's supposed to fit more. Wait, let's see. Cause that, that's what it's advertised as. Oh, I guess it could. But we're gonna do each in its own division okay. style. One for my socks. Do you wanna put anything in here? I mean, I'll put some of my shoes in. I'm gonna put a box that I got for my hard drive in here so I can store that in here. There's, there's not enough room in my backpack anymore. Here's my running shoes. Put them in here. Oh, um, this piece of paper that's in my backpack, there's enough room for it. Oh, uh, I'm also put my phone in here. Oh yeah, because sometimes you, wanna... you use it too much. Yeah, you wanna store it. What else? Oh, this other piece of paper is kinda oh. taking up so much room. Um, peanut butter. Cause I don't really have that much room in my pantry. And then I'm gonna put my keys in it because um I wanna start walking. Also, if someone robs your house, you don't want them to be able to take your car keys and then rob your car. But then you can't leave. But it looks fine. Yeah. And then we're gonna leave one extra spot for the future. You know, yeah. I'm gonna try this. Like, let's just look at this. Like, this is stuff that we use, but we don't need it all the time. So yeah. it's perfect to put under our I have to say, in the commercial, you know, it's always gonna not match the commercial, but like, this is all wrinkled and like, the sides are wrinkled, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, they kind of make it seem like it's like sturdy, when like, really, it's like this slump. Wait. It's this little slump. Look at the thing. sides of the of the photo. It looks like they put, um, cardboard in the sides, but this one doesn't Yeah, have is cardboard. that what you have to do? Cause like, why, it's just all slump. I'm so glad you mentioned this, because before you said that, I was oblivious. I was like, oh, it does what it says, but yeah. the thing is, it looks way more high quality in the photo. Yeah, like, Look, imagine like when they have this under the bed, it looks all nice and oh fancy, but then like this little slump thing under your yeah, bed looks okay. like trash. This is what I'm picturing. If you actually had shoes in here, you'd pull it out and it Ooh. would be sturdy like a closet. But when it's like this, you can jumble it all around and it can yeah. get all dirty and gross. A little slump. But with that being said, we'll still try it. Okay, let's test it out. So we have it beside the bed. Wait, why isn't it going under? Wait, they said it would. They said it would go under. They said it would fit under you every try it, bed. You try it, you try it. Maybe I'm just dumb. Come on. Okay, let me try one more time. <laughs> Why isn't it going? I'm 
done being scammed every goddamn day of my life. Maybe if you had a normal bud, <laughs> it would work. But the thing about it, we have bud frames. Well, Lucas has a bud frame. So yeah. what happens if you have a bud frame? With that being said, I have to be honest, I don't have a bud frame like this, so it would work with my bud. Yeah, I do still think it's a good idea. I do not think it's a bad product. Um, It is a lot shittier in real life than compared to the commercials, but maybe there's some tips and tricks where you can make it look better. But we have to be honest. Am I gonna end up using this? I don't think I'm gonna use it because at this point in my life, I don't have this many items. Where do you store your shoes now? Just on the floor in my closet. Maybe you can give it to our sister who's going away. Oh, yeah, like, here's this thing that I used for a video yeah. that, um... It's your gift. <laughs> I've seen on TV products are mutt to make people mad. You can introduce the next product because you don't even know what it is. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even with him when he bought these, but this is... Hurricane Windshield Wizard! I might have to sue because they're calling it a wizard. Is this actually a wizard? No hate at all, but the girl down there, like, that doesn't look like a genuine smile. Oh, they they will probably, like, pinching hole into it. Let me that. show y'all. Like, sis looks a little bit stressed. It's like, it's not like a, it's a. I don't quite understand it, so we have to watch the commercial. Oh, she's wiping it from inside her car. But why do you need to do that? Because I think it's hard to reach. I don't know, I feel like, again, we'll be sold by the time we watch the commercial. Windshields are impossible to clean, and a dirty windshield can be They dying. all give me stress <laughs> and anxiety. Wait. Jacob. What? They showed a car wreck because the windshield was so dirty. <laughs> Go back, I was too busy talking to myself. Fields are impossible to clean, and a dirty windshield can be downright dangerous. <laughs> Wait, if you don't buy the product, you die. That's what the first five seconds tells you. I'm not sold because they'll be too dramatic. Like, they literally are threatening our lives. Saying, if you don't buy this, you'll get in a wreck. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay, they went there. I respect it. Anyway. Introducing the Hurricane Windshield Wizard, the one tool that reaches and cleans for This is the you. same goal that was miserable. Power of <laughs> Just happy with there. A pivoting head fills with tap water and dispenses at the touch of a button. I'm it's literally an eye right now. I gotta say, like that would be easier than having to reach. Order now and get the Hurricane Windshield Wizard with free extra bonnet for just $19.99. But order now and you can double the offer. Plus, Again, you can also get the battle visor. It's the making visor the product way shitty. Sun. They're also gonna put a visor in? And look at how they're showing the sun, the laser? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what? you shouldn't be buying these products at Bud Bath & Beyond because you don't get the full bundle. I know, you could have gotten a battle visor. Wait, so what like, is this for again? And when the aliens come and try to kill all of us, they're gonna save us. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> and it keeps you safe on the road. Just pay a separate what? fee and we'll ship <laughs> yeah. everything to you. For I'm so confused. I don't get what the battle visor is. <laughs> can we go back 10 seconds and let's all soak it in because I can't soak it in. Battle visor, the visor that blocks the harsh <laughs> Clearing sun and keep you <laughs> safe on the road. Just pay a separate fee and we'll ship. I'm, I'm confused. It's also a camera. I think it just is a good, um, <laughs> what do you call that thing in the middle? Rear view mail? I think it just is another version of a rear view oh, mail. Okay. Call 1 800 618 Okay. I do have to say, like I said, getting those really like crevices of the windshield, like this is a good product for that. And I also was sold because this benefits. YouTubers, because we sometimes swim in the cow and we have to clean the windshield. To put the tripod. Yeah, because you need to have it clean. This actually will be useful. And also, I like how water squirts up. I have high hopes. How do you clean this? Does it go in the washing machine? Do you have to hand wash it? You, you never know? clean it. Because they said they threw in an extra bonnet. So now I'm thinking, I might have to buy bonnets. Oh, wait, is it like a five use thing and then you Yay. throw it away? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. Let's go test it. I don't want to get in a car accident. <laughs> I have the Hawking windshield wizard and I have a dirty windshield. So let's see if it cleans it. I like how it's easy to open. That is a pro. Some of these packages can be a bitch to open. Okay, it comes with directions. Wait, a diamond for $20. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm buying that later. Twist open to fill. It told me I don't even have to read the directions. Oh. Okay, let's just see how this works inside. Wait, let me try this again. You have to undo that thing, you know, like twist it off. 
Did I eat me? I think you have to twist like the top. You know, it kind of looks like the top of like a soap thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I I'll just read the directions. <laughs> to begin, hold the windshield up with the water square facing away from you and press down on the water spray button. Okay, press on this. What? I want it to work so bad. I'll hold the camera and you try to figure it out. Oh, I'm, you're not my handyman. I think that you do twist this. To be honest, it doesn't feel like it though. Sis, what? There isn't water going through this little tube. It really shouldn't be this complicated. So when I was filling this up with water, I think I might have done it wrong. There was this whole entire valve, but then there was this little tube, so I think I need to put it directly in that tube. What? It's like having sex for the first time. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of difficult, but... They always claim these help your life. So this should work. I'm just cleaning the windshield. Okay. I spent $10 on this. I want at least $10 of excitement. So far, I just have anger. What the fork? <laughs> well, I guess now we're gonna drive to Bud Bath and Beyond and yell at them and act like they made the product. And why do you make a shitty product? No, oh, yeah, we should raise hell there. Push down on the button three or four times to get the water flowing. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. The thing that I don't get is yeah, there isn't any water in the tubes. Ugh. Oh. If two blondes can't figure it out, who can? <laughs> I've been doing this for like five minutes at this point. Honestly, I think it's doomed. Okay, let's just try it on one of your windows. The water doesn't work, but will it still clean? Oh my gosh, it does work. I mean, just like a regular microfiber cloth. Or you could go in the shower, put some soap on this. Scrub it up dub. Oh, Luna's mad at me. She's like, that's not what this is meant for. Well, she's pissed. She's like, use it for the right thing or don't use it at all. This is a flap. No. And, um, I mean, there is a chance that this could be a one in a million chance that it doesn't work. Like, this I is know. the one in a million that doesn't work. But Let me just try to unscrew the top one more time. But that wouldn't do anything. Yeah, it would be in the... Yeah, that wouldn't do anything. You get lied to so many times and you still trust people. And just to get screwed over again. It's like, how many more times can I do this? It's like that Julia Michael song. I got issues, and you got them too. And this is my issue. I'm pissed. Do you have dry feet, Lucas? No, I actually don't. But I know some people in our family do. Our uh, dad. And beep. You can bleep her name. Okay. <laughs> this one <laughs> is Miracle Hand Repair Cream for Dry Cracked Rough. Flaky hands, okay. I thought you said it was foot cream. I was at Bud Bath, Be Bud Bath and Beyond and there was two products from this brand. I thought this was just a travel <laughs> size of the foot cream. Okay, we can, it got, I guess it's for your hands. But probably made out of the same stuff, right? I think it just is marketed differently. Yeah, that's what I would think. The only thing on my hands that is probably a little bit iffy is calluses because um, sometimes I lift. Oh yeah, I do have those too because I also like to pull ups and stuff. I've tried using lifting gloves, but they suck ass. Let's watch the commercial and see if we're sold. Are your feet so embarrassingly dry and cracked that they rip your stockings? I will stop. you need so Miracle yeah. Foot Repair, <laughs> an amazing new miracle cream that instantly oh. relieves dry, cracked, itchy feet the very first time you use it, guaranteed. Miracle Foot Repair and Wait. what? How does this commercial only have 5,000 views? Like, I thought the foot fetish people would be whipping it to this. Yeah, like, not to be um, a perverted person, but immediately I thought, foot fetish um, galore. Yeah, because not only are you seeing the thick feet, they're also rubbing shit on them, like, getting them all slathered. Like, I would assume that would be a ba-bang for them. Dry, bumpy skin Ew! becomes baby soft. <laughs> Cracked hard Don't heels and rip people. cotton transform to Ew. smooth, silky skin overnight. Fabira, I do want to buy it because we do all kind of have science feet. Council, with the ability to effectively penetrate through layers of skin. Feet become dry like this sponge, but Miracle Foot Repair penetrates feet like this what? sponge, giving you smooth, soft, supple feet. It's a... Is that a good example? Yes. Our skin isn't a sponge, though, so... Oh, look at her. Oh. Must for diabetics. Soothes achy feet. Your husband's feet were cracked, ugly, and smelled. Since Miracle Foot... <laughs> that 
needs to become a meme on Twitter. She was mad. Let's go back. My whole thing is like, I don't think it's going to fix the smell. Right? <laughs> the husband's feet were cracked, ugly, and smelled. Since miracle foot repair, <laughs> she actually was passionate. they smell beautiful and they okay. feel great. I don't think it has to do about their feet. You guys should get divorced. I, I think know. you guys have just... So you guys have separated. It happens sometimes. I know. Like, it's after he fixes the feet, it'll be something else that will drive her crazy. Like, you guys just aren't in love anymore. Your nose is smelly, cracked, <laughs> and gross. <laughs> Whatever she said. But after the Miracle Foot Repair, they were smooth and Ew. soft. Miracle Foot Repair contains 60% of certified aloe vera. Call now and get Miracle Hand Repair, a $10 value. That's what I have. Moisturize dry, flaky skin instantly. My hands were dry. They were cracked. Very hard. Very leathery. They were <laughs> transformed when I started using Miracle Hand Repair and they're young and soft and supple again. We I believe miracles. it. I mean, this is why these commercials work though. Cause like, I have no problem with my feet, but when you watch a commercial like that, you kind of just want to buy it. So many people who don't even have a foot problem would watch that and be like, oh, I probably do have really stinky, disgusting feet. And that's why no one loves me. Let's try it. Okay. Ow! You hurt me. Uh, took you long enough. It feels like we're out of spa or something. It has a um safety lid thing, which is oh, that's good. good. I so mean, you know no one's shitting it. Yeah, because that is a big problem. That happens a lot other. at Walmart and stuff. People shit in these things. Smell it. <laughs> it smells exactly like Jorgen's lotion. Oh, that is a good smell. Fresh, nice, not, no, no like really potent fragrances, which I like. I'm pretty sure they said 60% aloe vera. So when it's out, it looks like a normal lotion. I would expect it to be a little bit thicker. The yeah, same, especially with all the benefits. It does have... It's a little bit sticky. I'm gonna grab it on my feet even though it's for your hands. Probably the same shit anyway. It smells like sunscreen. I honestly like the smell. You guys can't fully see, see my feet on camera because what if one day I want to make extra money? Oh, that's true. Then you have to delete this video. And yeah. So obviously we've only done one application. So we can't fully say it's bad or it's good, but yeah. I don't know if you're feeling the same way as me. It feels like I'm just using drugstore lotion. For example, Jorgen's, Lubadom. Sale they all have their own lotions and it feels like that. Well, how expensive was this? It was $1.99, so it was like cheap. Oh, okay, so at least they're not trying to like make it a premium product. I do think it would work. I mean, isn't aloe very healing? I mean, my hands were perfect before, so they are perfect after, but yeah. Yeah, so with this one, um, I will have to say it was a little bit pointless trying for this video because this was a one day shoot. We started at seven and now it's 10 o'clock at night. It was very dumb to test. Sorry for everyone that wanted us to um, give people massages. I know there was a group of people that thought we were gonna like massage people, but that isn't what we're doing. Sorry to disappoint you. I was planning on getting four as seen on TV items, but I splurged. Oh, I got okay. five and this one is, well, the reason why I got this one is because it was at the checkout. So I was like, I'm balling today. Oh, so it worked. The whole, the little things on by the checkout register, they caught your eye and it worked and you bought it. Yeah, I'm a little kid, so it worked on me. <laughs> it's this ID, please, ID stamp roller. Oh, I didn't understand was it what it was at first, but my sister explained to me that it's basically an alternative to a shredder. Oh, it's to like put over your addresses on your packages, right? Yeah, so then you can just um, put it in the trash and no one knows. Or like your credit, I don't know. Credit oh yeah. Rates. This one seems the most like, oh, I understand it. I am excited to see the commercial though, because you know they're gonna say, my identity was stolen and they stole my house and my everything from me. And it's oh, yeah, all and because say, they saw my address on an Amazon package. I ended up underground 50 feet <laughs> below the surface or something. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, you just know it. You rip and tear your old statements and bills and simply toss those old bottles of pills. But thieves use this information to steal your identity. <laughs> now, I have to be worried about another thing. I know, you you don't know where there's guys in hoods that are scrawny and tall and they're snooping through your trash just like that guy. The new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents, so before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information <laughs> is gone, both on the front and through the back, even if paper is held up through the light. Paper shredders are slow and always jam, but... <laughs> When do they jam? But I mean, <laughs> I haven't witnessed it, but maybe it does happen. If you I like how out. when you 
right over something it says police. It makes me want to see what's underneath it so much more. No, the thing about it is that it makes it seem like you're an FBI agent I know. Or something. What are you hiding? Now, one easy roll and all your personal uh. information is blocked. Name Simple and address and easy. blocked. To be honest, if I start liking this item, I'm going to use it for everything. If I order something on Uber Eats, I'm going to put this all over the Chipotle bag. I don't want people knowing what I eat. <laughs> I know, knowing your order from yeah, like Taco Bell. that's creepy. So block it out before you throw it out and thwart any thief with the ID guard. <laughs> this commercial seems the most recent out of all of them. It seems like it, it, it could have been filmed like last year. We know you'll have so many uses for ID guard that we're going to double the offer. That's right, buy Each one, one, get one more. Like, you know what? It is kind of fun. Like, I do think it'd be fun. Like, I'm excited to use it. It sounds fun putting it over stuff. The thing about it is that both of them are fun. I like shredding stuff, oh, something true. and it's fun, but then this also sounds fun. They knew everyone loves shredding for the fun activity, so they created another fun activity. Yeah, there's people who just live in your trash can. Have you heard about that? How 40% no. of trash can someone's living in, for waiting yeah? for a bank statement. Oh. Yep, it happens every day and no one talks about now it. Now I'm scared. Well, let's try it so we don't end up getting our identity stolen and going up. Okay. We are in our cont cont confidential suite that we have where we keep yeah. all of our private information. Yeah, I have uh, some precious documents. Last night, um, the aliens invaded. So we need to stop protecting our stuff. So yeah. we're gonna try this ID please thing. I know this is gonna be so hard to open. You I, can try I think you might need scissors. Okay. Oh, there. you got it. Yay. Little directions are kind of hard to get out. So you need them. Uh, no, I, I just has yeah. to be easy to use. So I'm pretty sure you just, yeah, you take out this thing and now I'm gonna cover all my personal information. <gasps> that is cute. Okay, this one is easy. From this side, let's see. Ugh, maybe because this is aligned people, but if you really wanted to see my social security number, can you see it? You can kind of like still make out the stuff, Loki. But from the back, you can't really see it. I will have to say, I mean, for mine, you still could see like Jacob Crookshank. Maybe it's not supposed to be for pen. It's probably for print stuff. That actually is legit. Yeah. This is legit though. Yeah, I can still completely read yours just so you know. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it is satisfying. It's very satisfying, guys. Like, is there a way to go over it again? Oh, you could go over it multiple times if you really wanted to, you know what I mean? Have you noticed that it's kind of dying out though? Yeah. Now, can you read it? No, and flip it around. Let's see the true test. Nope, not a single thing. So now no one can know anything about you. To be honest, I can still read it. I can still see body type, fat. For print, it would work. I think the true test is to do it on the wax. Let's you do see it. That would do it. On your face. <laughs> Let's do it. Very funny. <laughs> With this one, if I have like a bank statement coming to my house, I'd be down to use it because I think it would work better with print. Like yeah, I think with said. pen, you just, it just doesn't really work because you can still see the pen. But you know what? I still think it would work. Yeah, like Jacob said. This one is one of the simplest I've seen on TV items. So this one is good. I like, I actually am kind of in love. It's a five out of five for me. Yeah, th that's it. <laughs> We are done testing all the as seen on TV products. We are as seen on TV'd out. <laughs> Do you know that I'm as seen on TV? Oh. We should do a private discussion for a little bit. On. Shimmy shimmy mam mia. Shimmy kama. Shimmy shimmy. Wait, sorry. What should we say? Kind of good. Yeah. We've decided with our professional expertise that as seen on TV products are kind of good. If this was a scale of one out of 10, it would be a six. Whenever you buy something from as seen on TV, you should be known that it can be a flop, but you also should be known that it could change your life and you could turn into Vanna White. Yeah, a lot of them were flops and a lot of them did it deliver how I expected? For example, the onion cutter, and onion couldn't even fit in there. But you know, it was You're still making cute. me mad. I just remember that, and I'm mad. Yeah, it was cute and fun, and then one of them straight up just didn't work. <laughs> but it's okay. Now, just sometimes that happens. Okay, you can um, subscribe to both of us. Both of the links are below. And thanks for watching. If you made it to this part, you're a true one.
fan club below. Just joking. I don't have a fan club yet, but I should have one. Goodbye, Z. Bye.